Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm Matthew Gore from thewetpen.com. It is the 13th of December, which of course means that it's time to see what's behind door number 13 on the Diamine Inkvent calendar. Let's take a look. Upon a star, this one says. Maybe we're having a Disney Christmas this year. Aha! Finally, we have another chameleon ink. This should be interesting. I'm gonna start off the same this time. I'll swatch this on my color ring, on Tomoe River, and on some ivory Midori paper. Ah, nice. This is a beautiful, rich, dark blue. As it dries, that glitter is starting to show up, and it looks greenish. And we're also getting a good amount of red sheen. With the ink dry, we can see that the ink is a little bit cooler and bluer on the Tomoe River in the center here than on the color ring on the left. And on the Midori, it's warm enough that it looks almost purple. In the time since I made my first couple of videos about chameleon inks, I've learned that the type of light that you use is supposed to make a big difference in its appearance. Supposedly, the chameleon effects don't show up under big, soft, diffuse light sources like the ones that I normally use in my videos. So I'm going to switch over in a second here, and we'll see if there's a difference. Here we have the color ring swatch on the left and Tomoe River on the right under soft light, and the glitter seems fairly fine but prominent to me. Okay, I'll switch over. And now here we are under a small hard light source. Now that glitter seems crazy bright, and my camera has trouble focusing on it now. There we go. And as I tilt this around, I think I can see a color shift now. It's not dramatic, but it looks to me as though the glitter shifts from blue-green to gold and back. So with this color shift, I can at least understand why Diamine might call these inks chameleon, although I still just don't really think that this color shift is the most significant feature of these inks. Okay, back to the softer light. Since the blue color of this ink is hard to see with all of the sheen and shimmer, I made another swatch without shaking the bottle. I thought that Diamine Majestic Blue would be a pretty good match for this color, but it turns out to be brighter and a little warmer. However, Twisby Midnight Blue is very similar, although the sheen makes it look a little bit more purple here. Two Minutes to Midnight turns out to be more saturated, but not too far off. And Pilot Blue Black is quite a bit less saturated, but it's close in the heavy areas. This Califolio Equinox number no. 5 leans green instead of purple. And this Birmingham Celestial Blue is not too far off, but is obviously more blue. The name Celestial Blue and Upon a Star got me thinking about the night sky, and reminded me of a trip that I took to Utah a few years ago, and I decided to try to paint it with this ink. I also ended up adding black ink to it for the foreground features, but I didn't get the heavy glitter that I wanted in the center to create the Milky Way. The glitter does really show up in the sky though, and that's what I was going for.
If you're not familiar with Arches National Park, I took this photo of Delicate Arch right before sunset, and this one a few hours after sunset. Anyway, I do like the base color of this ink. I, I like pretty much any blue ink. And this glitter is certainly very glittery. What do you think? Do you like this one? Let me know. And that's it. Stay safe out there, everyone, and I will see you back here again tomorrow with another new bottle of ink.